XLTFC. Welcome to the X, Y, and Sexy Baby on the sexiest podcast where you hear some sexy music. Mm, giving it to you. Before we begin, we'd like to thank our, what are they called again? Sponsors. sponsors? The sexiest sponsors. That is correct. <laughs> uh, that's why I have these sexy mother jammers, baby. Uh, we'd like to say thank you to Social Ubiquity, mm, making up. Uh, the sexy digital ads that you see before you right now. I don't know if you've been on the internet, baby, but uh, if you go there, check them out. See what's going down on the Facebook. See what's going down on the gram. Mm. Uh, I'm Stu Sauce. To the left of me is the rapid responder, the bass rider, baby. Mm. Got C. Rome off the dome, rocking that Panther gear. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number yeah. six. Yeah. Here we go. He puts the X, Y, and 6, Y. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. There you go. And this is the doctor. Oh, look at that lovely face mask. Mm, the loveliest. Let's get to it. We've got to talk some really sexy music right now. I don't know if you know about the sexy sounds of Pharrell, mm. but they is funky. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well done, Stu. Yeah. Well done. Our English teachers of America. I know, right? <laughs> they oh, is God. sexy in reference to not the Neptunes, but the Pharrell. individual Pharrell. There you go. I mean, he set off the nerds of the world. He did set off the nerds That's of the world. True. So let's let's knock it off of what you just said. He, for those of you who don't know, Pharrell used to be is he still? No, they're not anymore, right? Used to be in the Neptunes. And I in, think they still do stuff. Do they though. still do stuff? Uh, I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, as always, please tell me how wrong I am in the comments. I like being told how wrong I am. Revoke his PhD heart. because he does not need a mask like this if he is wrong on things like that. That is correct. <laughs> he does. He's a doctor. It's true. It's true, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. <laughs> uh, doctor? <laughs> So there are multiple phases of Pharrell, if you will, right? So it starts with the Neptunes, and the Neptunes is sort of the thing he kind of comes and goes from. Right. Is that him with the hair or him with the hat? Hair. Hair. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because he rocks, like, two different styles, and it's all from, like, the forehead up. Uh, it's a little bit of both. All right, some so he throws a little forehead hats. in there, too. Yeah, yeah, no, a whole lot of forehead. So. He throws in the whole ape head. Yeah, okay. So the Neptunes were sort of his... His pivot point, right? He comes. He starts with the Neptunes, and then he comes and goes, as many artists do with their original group. And then he starts with the other guy from the Neptunes, right? It starts Hugo, third, yeah. Hugo, mm -hmm. uh, and they bring on a third guy. Is that how that goes? I think Neptunes. I I could be wrong. Once again, if I'm wrong, tell me. I believe the Neptunes. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> The Neptunes, I believe, is just uh, Pharrell and, Ch and Hugo, Hugo yep. or Chad Hugo. Yeah, I think his name is Chad Hugo. Um, the not Neptunes Hugo boss. was that the two of them plus a few other guys. Okay. That would come and go, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and you know, for all intents and purposes, they were, I guess, a rock band, right? That's what they call them. But if you listen to the music, it's uh, it's a lot more flexible than that. It's kind of like how most yeah. Def's second record was a rock record. I don't know. I listened to that rock star song. It sounded like a rock track. Yeah, but you like dub everything you don't like to be rock. No, no, not everything. There's some rock songs that I do like. They, they're like jam band songs, but <laughs> they're still rock songs. <laughs> I don't know. You know it. Pharrell's cool in his own right, man. I like most of his rap stuff, dude. I think all that that music that he did with his uh, his uncle Snoop Snoop, yeah, dude. He incorporates they incorporate uh, guitar as well, um, mm -hmm. while not making it um, rock immediately, you know. Right. So maybe that's where it comes from the fact that they were using guitars, whereas most R and B and hip hop and rap artists were not using guitars at all. Maybe that's what it is. In maybe that era, now, yeah, you're right. Maybe I the fact think that they it's were making a, band. a comeback. Guitar. Yeah, it is actually recently it is. Yeah, um, but they they did they had a lot of cool production techniques in those couple of nerd albums that I took a look at. Um, but man, those those Neptune songs. I mean, we talked about how uh, Stevie Wonder owned the '70s. If there's anyone that owned pop music in the 2000s in a time where music was more accessible than ever, uh, in large it was part the free. record company. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that's when they lost it, Stu. That's the so that's the decade they lost the, the music industry. So let's go on to that a little bit, because I know this is one of the things that Stu likes talking about. Songs by the artist that are not by the artist, okay? So let's play a little game. Let's see how many uh, track songs we can name that Pharrell worked on, where Pharrell is not the artist, so to speak. Right. I'll start. I'm a Slave for You by Britney Spears. Mm-hmm. I'm a... Uh, uh, to me, it was Britney's peak. Yeah. At least from a physical standpoint, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mentally, she's uh, a little more there then than now. There you go. <laughs> uh, she might actually have been more human at that time, too, if you believe the cloning conspiracy. There you go. Uh, but let's, let's not get sidetracked on Britney here. Let's name more songs that are Let's famous. just go around. Yeah. I, I guess, like, Britney's past Blurred Lines. Really, really... Uh, Blurred Lines by who? By... Credits. Was it Robin Thicke? Hey, Robin, Robin Thicke, Thicke. Robin, yeah, Robin Thicke. Oh, I was going to say Marvin Gaye. You're right. <laughs> Robin Thicke. And uh, what do you know about this Marvin Gaye side story here, now that you mentioned it? Yeah. Dum, 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 dum. Let's just assume Probably he's it. talking about the bass line. Yeah. So, Marvin Gaye's estate actually sued... Uh, act, no, wait. No, I'm saying this wrong. Uh, Robin, Thicke's, Robin Thicke preemptively <laughs> sued... Marvin Gaye's estate? Right. Hey, I think this song sounds like yours. We're going to take all your money. So it isn't. But then they countersued, and I believe they won. won. They won. won. Marvin Gaye's estate won. Yeah. Yeah. So easy to get started. Don't go poking the bear. It's the moral of the story. Right? And if you're going to poke the bear, have a dope lawyer. (laughs) I'm sure he had the best lawyers. Doesn't matter. Apparently he didn't. He lost. (laughs) So the, you, the whole Justified album, or most of it, which originally was the songs were written for Michael Jackson. Justified, of course, being Justin Timberlake's breakout solo record, uh, in large part about Britney Spears. Uh, to, to bring it all full circle, "Cry Me a River," one of the few songs that uh, Pharrell didn't write, um, as far as I know, he doesn't. That was Timberland, right? Yeah, that's yes. Timberland. Yes, that's right. That began that. That partnership. sounds like Timberland. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and. So, other than "Cry Me a River," which was about Britney and by Timbaland, uh, most of that that's uh, most of the singles from that track uh, from that record, "Senorita," um, uh, uh, "Rock," "Rock, Rock Your Body,", your body mm-hmm. that was that was the one that Pharrell was like, "I'm gonna make this for my hero, Michael Jackson. He's gonna love it. He's gonna put it on his last album," and he was like. Nah, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna work with dark. I'm gonna make something yeah. even better. <laughs> Invincible. <laughs> um, I had that album. That guy did that album like a bunch of colors, dude. That was a really smart marketing plan for that guy. Like, smart. Michael's a G. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. I know he it's was. not Michael's week. It's no, it's not, okay. But it could be. Yeah. <laughs> Honorable mention. Um, I was gonna say "Rock Your Body," so I was glad to hear that come out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, I think because we're able to name songs that Pharrell penned mm-hmm. and other artists made huge amounts of success off of, that just goes to show that his writing skills are just as, as clean and as clear as his, as, his, um, as his own artistry. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So him as an artist is different from Pharrell, the songwriter. Right, yeah. And right. that's different from Pharrell, the producer. That's different from Pharrell, the fashion icon, the watch collector, you know, it's it's pretty iconic when you think about it. Well, sonically, he definitely has a signature, and I think we yeah. touched, uh, I don't know if we touched on this on a previous podcast, or maybe it was off, uh, off screen or something, but um, back when, the back before Pharrell became Pharrell, you yeah. know, and it was sold in the RD and the, and the Neptunes, mm-hmm. uh, there was a lot of uh, noise that the real brains of the operation was uh, Hugo, right? Yeah. Um, and then when he started doing the other stuff, uh, and when he started doing his own stuff, um, and I think the Ed Sheeran, I'm trying to remember what song by Ed Sheeran he did. Um, a Shape of You. Was a Shape uh, of Which you? is the least Pharrell sounding Pharrell produced track to, be, to, to hit that acclaim because he's got those staples that we'll touch on. Right. Yeah, you can hear it. You can, yeah. you can hear, hear it. You can hear it, but it's, nuances, it's, it's a little different. Yes. From, and, and that's just, you know, 
where Ed Sheeran's kind of uh, power as a songwriter and, and his style really showed yeah. through. I'm sure where, he had a lot of arranging going on in there with Pharrell. Sure. Absolutely. Because, yeah. like, the more I think about that main riff, that don't, 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 like, that's so something Pharrell would do. Mm -hmm. he, he does make his music breathe that way. It's something you see in uh, that Britney song. Say it again. Uh, Slay for you. That one. Mm -hmm. I think his signature is definitely in his drums, in the yep. kick, especially. Yep, the kick. And also, also in his vocal melody. I was just yes. gonna say because you hear those, even though Ed Sheeran takes it and and he does his Ed Sheeran thing. Yeah. And he did shape a few, but it was another song he did as well, and it's. Not shape of you. It was the one. Very. Tri maybe it is. Maybe I'm confused. <laughs> I think he did more than one though. I'm sure. But I mean, he never just does one song with an artist, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. But you can hear it. You, I can hear the the melody line. I'm like, holy crap! That sounds mm -hmm. that sounds like a Pharrell thing, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, he's definitely trademarked his falsetto, which is why Rock Your Body is such a, a, a great example of a song that his fingerprints are all over. Mm -hmm. um, because that whole, don't be so quick to walk away, yep. death. Even though Justin's singing it, you're like, Pharrell sang that first. Right. Mm -hmm. You know it. Um, and Justin does a great job. Justin, technically speaking, is the better singer. Mm -hmm. But that melody and the, the falsetto and just keeping the entire thing in falsetto as opposed to di dipping in and out of it, um, that's that's where the Pharrell uh, signature lies. So there we just discussed uh, Pharrell as a, as a songwriter, as a producer, uh, which is a complete ca career unto itself, mm -hmm. right? We're really bad at games because instead of going one song at a time, we went two songs, <laughs> an album, and then a, a, di a digression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. bad. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It was clear that Pharrell's done a lot, a yeah. lot, a lot, He's a done lot. so much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. let's discuss the songs that you know uh, he made as himself. You know. Yeah. You want to start? One of the few songs that I know that he made by himself is "Despicable Me" from the Despicable Me movie. He must have been having a bad, bad day, and it's about time that things went his way. <laughs> 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 um, but, but oh. Or they paid him enough money. Or the other they movie, must have yeah. paid him enough money, or he earned that money, because I feel like to get your tracks into movies, if like they don't come up to you and talk about it, like let's say he just went out and he winged that, he just went on the limb and was like, you know what, I see that there is a possibility for this movie coming out. I'm going to make a whatever about it, uh, a blurb or a song, see if it, if it picks up. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how these things really roll. Maybe they paid him up front first. He's like, yo... You've got like five weeks to rock this song out. Sure. At that level, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Sure. Down. Yeah. Here's this much money. Yep. Do this song. Here's much money on the back end if you. Uh, oh yeah. You know, that's that's. It hits. You know, and yeah. and it was a family movie, which Correct. is where you're yeah. gonna get the most hits. Family uh, children's movies are the only uh, DVD category that's still growing. Everything uh, DVD and Blu-ray, everything else is obviously tanking as uh, as streaming takes over. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna be anywhere making music, family movies are where it's at, where the dollars are. And if you have a family, you want to like and subscribe to our page, both YouTube, Instagram. And if you don't have a family, still subscribe, like, party with us to our music. Because right now, we're all rocking face masks, which means from six feet away, we can party, baby. Mm. These guys are like, yeah, man, <laughs> this is too close, and I'm wearing a face mask. <laughs> <laughs> Ten feet is too close to two songs. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh, snap. Uh, my song. So before I announce my song, I want to just shout out all of the tracks that I love by him because we didn't do well at that game. But I'm I'm such a huge Pharrell fan. This is the most highly anticipated podcast for me. Um, he did one of the No Doubt albums with Hella Good. He did Gwen Stefani solo project uh, with Holla Back Girl. Damn. The Daft Punk stuff uh, on the Nile Rodgers. With the Nile Rodgers. Ah, yeah. nasty. Both Lose Yourself to Dance and a, a song we cover all the time called Get Lucky. We all know it. Um, he did Beautiful with, by Snoop Dogg, which is the example of a song that I use whenever I say, Pharrell is the type of guy that all you need is one element from the song and you know it's him. Usually it's the kick drum through a wall or a bass line from the bar next door, and you know, oh, that bar is rocking Pharrell. 
But to bring it all full circle, and the catalog is endless. Just look up the Neptunes. This is the Neptunes on Spotify. Listen to all of it, and you'll be like, he did that, and that, and that. Holy. So it took a lot for me to get to this point, but I also had to find a song that Pharrell had artist credits on, and it brought me to front. So for the f same reason I love Beautiful by Snoop Dogg and Let's Get Blown and all the stuff he does in the kind of hip-hop world, there is there are very few pop duos mm -hmm. that are quite as powerful to me as Pharrell and Jay-Z. When they come together, Jay-Z's uh, kind of... His, his whole ethos completely changes and he becomes somebody that you can play for your girlfriend. And, uh, and Frontin' is that first song that I heard on the radio when I was like six or seven, like, oh damn, this is something different. This radio thing is, this isn't like, you know, uh, the, the Encore album or the Marshall Mathers album that I was hearing on the radio around that era or, or Linkin Park or Incubus. This is, this is different. Mm. Front, uh, Pharrell and Jay Z. That was pretty eloquent. Yeah. How are we gonna top that? Impossible. Uh, we can go home now. Doctor, why don't you try? Oh, um, <laughs> you want me to follow that? Yeah. Jeez. Okay. I love Pharrell. I love me for some Pharrell. Yeah. Well, next time we're gonna put him in that chair. Right. Okay? <laughs> right. I think so too. This chair doesn't make you any slower. That just comes with the face mask. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Uh, okay. My favorite Pharrell song. Um, it's during his NERD days. Everyone knows, or all the girls waiting in the line for the bathroom. All the girls waiting in the line for the bathroom. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That bass line will send you from here to the moon. Okay. To the bathroom uh, and back. Yeah. Well, yeah. To the bathroom and back. At least to the line. <laughs> At least to the line. Because the line's probably too long. But anyway, um, it, it's it's. I want to use this term very loosely. It is so elementary that you can't help but love it, right? That's it's, that early Pharrell stuff. Yeah, though. that's man, what was it, so good about it. Yeah, and it wasn't Pharrell by himself. It was N E R D, Pharrell and the other guys. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 that's that's really how a lot of people look at N E R D. That's how a lot of people that are unfamiliar with their history. That's how they look at the Neptunes, right? Mm -hmm. So now, a lot of people see Pharrell and they see this guy who does not age, right? He's a mogul. He's a mogul. He doesn't age. He doesn't grow facial hair. He wears the nice hats and Adidas jackets. Um, you know, he doesn't age because, like, for the same reason, like, I don't age, right? We all share the same birthday, dude. And if you're born on the same day as us, you stop aging. That's right. Look it up. Or you age like wine and not milk. <laughs> right, right. Well, <laughs> feel bad for you July 3rd people. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, but, but in all I didn't honesty, any of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You didn't miss anything. But, but in all honesty, um, I'm the drummer. Go listen to that song if you're unfamiliar with it. It is so. It, it reminds you of drum and bass, and mm -hmm. I know you're a big fan yeah, of, big of drum and bass, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and you would appreciate that song. Um, not so much for the lyrical content. But for the the arrangement of it, you know the, that's what I like. Yeah, the, the composition. It's really drum and bass, actually. I'm that's actually to, the root of it, believe it or not. I'm gonna have to give it a good It's hard to listen to uh, uh, Pharrell's full uh, yeah. catalog because it's so much. Yeah, you know, massive. it's so much, and um, it's not like when you have another artist where they have a clear cut, you know, right. top six songs, you know, right. and then it's just yeah. a. Which ones do we like better? No, this uh, guy's got. I mean, right. he was. He had at least one song on every R and B and hip hop record That's for right. like ten years. That's yeah. Right. That's while, right. you know, being in his own band. Yeah. yeah. And having a solo project. Right. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. And and so that same Pharrell, very well put. Yes. I mean, he worked with Faith Evans. Right. I was just gonna say <laughs> that's the same Pharrell that you know from from working with Hugo their dynamic duo ship and going off to work with Snoop Dogg and working with Charlie Wilson from the mm -hmm. Gap Band mm -hmm. you know and, and Britney Spears and the Robots and you know Usher Usher I mean that, that list goes on Faith Evans that list goes on and on and on but I like to reel it all the way back to the early days the roots. yeah right I love the roots so do I 
But I'm gonna reel it back to the early days, and I'm gonna have to say my favorite song by Pharrell, or at least a Pharrell associate, would have to be Everyone Knows. All the girls waiting in the line for the bathroom. Thank you. And now it's on me, oh man. Yeah. When bars open up and a girl asks to use the boys' bathroom, you let her. Yeah. You let her. Yeah. Because really. yeah. yeah. you ain't getting to that other one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So I'm also going to go back to the NERD days. Yeah. Uh, I remember NERD. That was. That was that was different at the time. Mm -hmm. It was not like the other stuff that was on the radio at the time. You can tell. The beautiful thing is it blends. It yeah, it yeah. blends. It's still current. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can tell this is something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's always a refreshing to hear that. That's that's always what I'm after. I'm like, I want to hear something different. And this is not to knock any artist, you know, but sure. uh, you get like the sound, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You get the sound if if you know, we're 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 in South Florida. We're close to Miami. You know, you know what's the you know a Y one hundred? That's probably the top mm -hmm. forty station we have here. You can just play that stuff, Y one hundred. You know, and other than the certain artists that have a distinctive voice mm -hmm. that you can then tell that it's them, you wouldn't be able to tell you know from song to song who the artists are because they all have this like this. You know, sound that goes yeah, through. Yeah, little a, generalization. Yeah, the sound of the times, you know, kind of thing. And if you um, want to know who's really jamming on your radio station, especially Y100, you call them and you request that exotic Yayo band and be like, yo, you play them yellow funky moon boots people. And then you'll be like, yo, I know that band. They, I know that band playing on this radio station right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Spell All right, that. South Park. <laughs> yeah. Spell now. Right now? Yeah. Like, M Y O W now. <laughs> Close enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't get to say my song from the NER details. So I'm just gonna say Sorry. it before I get interjected again. <laughs> Interjection. <laughs> Lap dance. Yes. Da -da 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 that starts up. It's over. It's over. It's over. I'm ready to go. Yes, the booty so. shaking begins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a good song. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. Any that whole album? Yes. Um, it's a it's a common road trip album for me. Okay. If I'm driving, you know, anywhere far, I'm always gonna have that NERD album on me. Yes. Yeah. It, it's just great. It's just great. It yeah. normally hides behind a Sade album. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just because you don't know Sade, don't knock Sade. Right. Sade, we're gonna do a podcast on Sade because yes, that lady we will. is legendary. Yeah. So you're just going to have to listen to Sade. I'm sorry about that. And you're going to have to learn about that. Mm -hmm. But now let's bring it back to Pharrell. Yes. Let's bring it back to Pharrell. Lap Dance is my song. So let's knock out a top four. Okay. Yours is knocked out first. Ba Bam! <laughs> <laughs> There's three more votes on the table. So we'll see. I'm just double checking the list. He did drop it like it's hot. Yes, yep. I was going to okay. mention that one. Okay. Which is going to be what we do. He did it hot in here. He did hot yes. in here. Yes. For Nelly? For Nelly. My God. He did the Tokyo Drift theme song. You'll know it to hear it. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. By the way, you all, you all have to see. You, have to, you, you all have to look up on YouTube later. The European version of Drop It Like It's Hot music video. Mm. It's different okay. than the US version. Okay. How much more different? Nudity. There's nudity. There's boobies in the video. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> so those they did not include in the American. Sure. I was uh, I was traveling when that song came out, so I saw it was it was in the top forty. Which one was it? Uh, um, Drop It Like It's Hot. Oh man! So if you got the so I saw it here. I saw it here on TV, then I was out in Europe <laughs> traveling around, and I was like, oh, this video is different. Music videos are cooler here. <laughs> this is different. I bet uh, the news is cooler there, too. <laughs> uh, this is probably coming out after elections, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Is it safe to say that that's the reason that Pharrell doesn't go on tour? Is because his catalog pays him very nicely I, in royalties? Probably. Yeah, I like to think does. so. Because I can't remember the last time Pharrell went on tour. That's true, actually. Yeah. I, I'm My sure he enjoys mine. himself <laughs> touring every now and again, dude. He's still a young guy. I'd be touring if I were still him. 
He ain't that young. No, nah, he's not that young. <laughs> he looks young. Yeah. Okay. Okay, true. Yeah. True. Yeah. 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 Anyway, the All list. Right. The top four. Top four. Who wants to go first? Oh, I don't. Not me. All right. I don't even remember what the four songs are. I don't are. mind to go. Uh, my number four is Despicable Choice. Uh, me. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> there it is. Okay. There you go. All right. Now someone else is having a bad, bad day. <laughs> Maybe you you picked happy. <laughs> Let me go your way, doctor. Okay. Uh, I have to agree. Despicable me. I'm so sorry. It's not a sexy song. All y'all choosing these songs that like people bounce in the club to. Listen. Yeah, song- I'm like, dude, the only song I really know by Pharrell was like a Disney movie. Well, listen. Hey, it's sorry, universal. Sorry. You know, I was going to choose the song you chose because that was the only other song I really listen, knew from Pharrell. My choice? Don't we? Despicable Punk. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> You got, you got to quit trying to be so clever yeah. and try to find a song from left field. You yeah. got every podcast. Just pick a good song, man. <laughs> pick a good song. Pick a good song. Yeah. Christ. If you agree Actually, with Rod and think that Despicable Me song is a bad song, comment. Comment. <laughs> comment down here. Not, not going to lie. Then tag Pharrell and be like, yo, this Despicable Me song let, is let's, let's make this interesting. Let's make this interesting. <laughs> if you agree with me, that he made a poor choice of song, okay? Like this video, yeah. all right? If you agree with Mr. Sexy Sauce here that he should keep picking these left field songs, all right? <laughs> yeah. Give this page a like. Unlike the video, all right? And Wait, then based you, on that, that we'll is make, that with the down thumb arrow? That's a, yeah. Like oh. That. So if you yeah, and, you and, if you're with me, eh, if you're with him, eh, right? And then depending on, let's, <laughs> let's, let's make a wager on this. Okay. Um, all right. Here's the wager. Whoever wins, we're gonna wear each other's clothes on the next podcast. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. I mean, it's especially if you yeah. lose, bro. You can't fit my clothes. I'm gonna rip it all, man. Right. Right. He just wants to feel like the Incredible Hulk in one of my t-shirts. That's, it's gonna be funny. It's a great wager, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. All I right. Agree. All right. So I thought you were gonna go with like lose yourself to dance or something. I know, right? Uh, yeah. Any, no, let me go pick the Disney Look, movie it's an song. okay song. It's an okay song. But yeah. we're talking Pharrell here. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number yeah. four. What's your number four? It's not going to be it's, the Spickle It's me. not because I'm happy either. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, the number four song? Mm-hmm. You want to know the four songs again? Yes. Mm-hmm. Teacher. Uh, Despicable Me. <laughs> I need a screen now, dude. Oh, lap dance. <laughs> uh, everybody knows. Yep. And oh, front down. Front, front, front yeah. There you go. Yeah. Go ahead and pick mine. I know you want to. He can't yeah. afford a lap dance, so he chooses a number four. Is that, is that I'm gonna make that one my number four. Have you ever been to a strip club? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna move and I over. Have a lap dance. Hey, hey, listen. You should move over before you get struck by lightning. Okay? Right. Because <laughs> the lie is going on up there. No, I'm just not a fan of the strip club. I've gone to them a couple of times. Yeah, okay. Well, shout out to Veronica. <laughs> I didn't get to know her by name. Though, not at all. <laughs> that was. Yeah. If you're listening in Croatia or Key West or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm back at Sea Rome. <laughs> all right. So you're picking lap dance. I guess so. All right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I love how uncertain he was. I guess so. <laughs> all right. You're up, Sea Rome. Uh. I got I to gotta miss on uh, lap dance for uh, old girl Veronica and uh, choose, what was yours called again? Uh, Everyone Knows. Everyone Knows. Oh, damn, but that's a good song. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. I, I already see what's going to happen. Though. Still my number that's three. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Damn. It, it, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a long distance between three and four. <laughs> of course. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Luckily, I don't take that stuff to heart. Right? So, you know, unlike some people some over people, here. Some people, you know. Some people, I wonder who. I certainly I don't. Wonder who, I wonder who. Who am I talking about? Josh, so hurt by it. Hey, now, it's all love, so hey. Right? <laughs> but I love these guys. All right, Five so years, we're you can off track again. Other. What was your choice for number three? Everybody knows? Everyone knows. Everyone. Everyone. It's okay. Everyone. It's okay. Yeah, they're interchangeable. Why not? Um, okay, my number three would have to be 
front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get into, I'll get into that later. It's nothing personal. It's, it's a nerd thing. Yeah, it's 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 the nerd thing. Sorry, you know, it's a great song. I definitely would not have put it as number four. Um, maybe I would put it as number two. But the reason why I left the last two, I'll, I'll explain in a minute. We'll get to that. We'll, we'll get, get to that. that. So I get it. I get it. yeah, this was, yeah, this yeah. was pop side project at that time. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's very poppy. You, you, poppy. It, it, it's like what Despicable Me was. It was very gimmicky. It was a title track for the movie of the same name. I mean. That's why I didn't put fun as number four. <clears throat> a strong number three. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that for now. A strong number three. Okay? So uh, here's where things get tricky because it's, it's three brilliant songs. Yeah. Um, um, I'm going to have to go with the uh, impact. I think that's that's my going to be my uh, determination of how I choose. And uh, from an impact point, I'm going to have to pick uh, number three, front of Sure. Okay. Not to say it's... Uh, it's not a despicable me. <laughs> right. 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 I didn't like this. All right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no more piling. I'm, yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pharrell, they hate me. They hate... I appreciate... They hate me, dog. You might say we're sipping the Haterade by Gucci Mane featuring... Not Lizzo, not... Cardi B. Who is Cardi B's mama? Uh... You mean that's Nikki? a good question, bro. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Who just had a baby? Did she? Yes, she hey, did. Cardi B. Oh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're right. It's her second baby. It's right. her second baby. I bet she's really wondering now. <laughs> where is my money? Hey, <laughs> I don't know how that word, the words of that song really goes. Not at all. Um, I don't even know what our number two is going to be. All I know is what my number one is. Sure. Number two. So, ordinarily, I go for music quality of music and if that were what's driving my argument I would have picked the two nerd songs as my number one and two but uh, for me I discovered Pharrell as a pop artist because his music stood out on the radio you know for me my, my first my first like well not my first music exposure um, but I was exposed to music here in South Florida on Y100 initially on the way to baseball, and I have all this nostalgia about pop music about the, in that era. And for the most part, of, all of it sounded more or less the same. It's kind of like now how Max Martin just does everything. And All right, there's a Weekend album, there's a Katy Perry album, and there's a Camila Cabello album. And it's all the same because it's all, it's all a white guy with long, long brown hair that's making all your favorite pop songs. But back then, it was Pharrell. And, uh, and Fronten was the, the, the sound. Like, everything else was kind of off of that template. And I agree that, you know, kind of could make the rest of them stale. But for me, Fronten's impactful, and that's my number one. So, nice. Lap Dance, I'm sorry, Miss Croatia, is my number two. But Miss it Croatia. definitely was worth 200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. You're not going to get in trouble, are you? <laughs> no. All of this is fiction. Okay, awesome. Okay. <laughs> Great. Very good. Very it's all good. for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it's is our lap dance? Right. <laughs> Who is Miss <this> Croatia? <laughs> Well, that's a great segue I'm about to get into. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, it's all love. Are you, uh, you, you are engaged? I am. Uh, <laughs> my, engaged to Croatia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't you forget it. Uh, my number two, Lap Dance. Great song. That's why I named it as number two, which makes my number one my own selection of Everyone Knows. That's just like the code strip. It's just, yeah, it, it's very predictable of me, but I'll tell you why I chose that that that, that route. Uh, lap dance was pop, straight pop, but it was something different from what Pharrell had been doing, right? Totally. At that time, we had known the height of Pharrell to be the Neptunes, his ghostwriting, NARD fame. I'm not going to say that's the first song that broke him out and put him into something a little bit different, but it was the most popular one. Okay, um, I'm going to I'm going to tailor off of what you just said about the radio. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear Pharrell on the radio a lot. I didn't. Um, I heard his music in movies. Hmm. Um, I heard his music in commercials, for example, or like on VH1 and stuff like that. Quick little 10, 15 seconds, right? Not once did I hear him on the radio as I was growing up. I'm not that much older than you if we're not the same age. I'm older. <laughs> right. It is. Um, 
but that just goes to show how your introduction to someone's music totally. is so different from the next guy or the next girl's, right? Um, with that, everyone knows was introduced to me by my brother, who, like you, is a Pharrell fanatic. All things Pharrell. So, again, as the drummer, I really latched onto that song because it's like drum and bass, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's syncopated, it's very well put together. It's what I like to consider the height of Pharrell, the creativity of Pharrell, right? This guy can show you what he can do, right? This guy can show you what he can do with, with, with a sampler. This guy can show you what he can do with live instrumentation, you know? Not a lot of cats can do that, but Pharrell did it then. Not today, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Then, okay? True. Yeah, and like I said, he's not no young guy. So, for him to be as young, old as he is, and for him to capture so much in his career as a producer, as a songwriter, as an arranger, as the artist, it's a lot. I mean, I put him up there with like Michael and Prince. So, anyway, like I said, yeah, big whoop, right? Agreed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, number one for me I is agree. everyone knows, and number two is a very, very strong lap dance. My number one is Froggy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> High five. Touch so you. I'm going to uh, actually, what's your number two? Hey, it'll be November when this comes out, probably. High five. Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vegans are going to hate us. <laughs> oh, boy. If you're all about that Peter life, and even if you're not, you should like the page. Find us on Instagram right now. If you go to our website, and you go to where it says home and you go to taste the yayo and you join our email list you will get 20 percent off your next yayo swag purchase what is our website stew sauce exotic yayo.com x o t o c x o t o c com slash sign up whoa that sounded like one of those things i know right loud music What's it called again? I forget. I don't know. Crazy Train? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't get to go. My number one, very predictably, is going to be Lap Dance. Of course. Which makes my number two, everyone knows. Yes. Uh, and we have a real conundrum now. No, we, we don't. <laughs> no? Two number one votes versus your split vote. Mm. That's two called a plurality, one. bro. That is correct. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at that. See your own keeping track of stuff. That's right. <laughs> so, we're going to call you the teacher. No. <laughs> he said no. And, you know, and your number two was? <laughs> um, uh, lap dance. Lap, lap dance. dance. Your number two was the other one. I don't even have a number two. I don't even remember. I didn't I didn't pick a number two. What was your number four? It was lap dance. Mm-hmm. Okay. What was your, where did this pick only fit in for you? I guess number three. So I guess your song is my number two. Okay. So that makes it front and number one. Everyone knows Pop number two. Impact. Lap dance number three. Mm -hmm. And somewhere far away. In far, the great beyond. <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away. Right. <laughs> this pick of a week. Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> At least they made the top four. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. A very distant number four, but still. On the list. Still number four. That's Dude, right. It sounds like this song was Pharrell's like like black sheep child that didn't get much love in as a kid. He's like the middle child of nah, the no. like that. If you had picked lap dance, we all would have said that about lap dance. <laughs> 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 just because you picked it, that's all. It's not the song, son, it's just you. <laughs> it's not the more artist. Sense. Listen, it's not even the artist. It's not the artist, it's you. <laughs> Wait till we do fish. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> they will see who's 432 and what. <laughs> uh, my number four is, uh, I don't know. Oh, right. <laughs> and number three, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel about a lot of these artists we choose. You know how I feel? I feel, like, I feel like for the guy who takes advantage of all the puns, you missed out on so many with like hot in here. You did. And <laughs> drop it like it's hot. Ooh, you did. So. And blow, let's get blown. Like you had so many opportunities with this one artist this week. <laughs> to make all the puns. But he likes the dad jokes. Yeah. And none of those are conducive to a dad yeah, joke. Yeah, I guess they're all pretty crude. Yeah, exactly. Oh. There it is. Last thing I want to do is look misogynist on this show. So why don't you uh, send us home? Everybody, we need to stay sexy in this world. And while things are not as sexy as you want them to be, you got to turn on the 
what is this thing called? Your computer. And you gotta go to that place called YouTube. And what do you find on YouTube? The X, Y, and Sexy Baby to turn you on to the sexy beast you is. Uh, we are Exotic Yayo. We throwing up our deuces. Thank you all. Mad love. Yo, yo. And so